what is up guys this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can make shake effect in adobe premiere pro yes just like this one if you have watched any roasting video or any gameplay video then you may have seen this kind of effect on top of their video or on top of their face cam video first i'm going to show you how you can do that from scratch if you don't have any preset how you can do that so let's get started first you need to import the video clip that you want to apply for this demonstration then you need to go to window and click effects panel then this panel will appear you need to search for an effect which is transform this one under video effects distort transform click and drag this effect on top of your video then release it then go to in the beginning point of your video then go to window click effects control panel and from here scroll down you'll see transform effect we are going to achieve the shake effect using this transform effect first we need to increase the scale a little bit because when we are going to change the position of our video to avoid the black side from the video we need to scale it up a little bit so i'm going to scale it to 115 right this one this value then we need to animate the position from here so first go to in the beginning part of our video then click here enable toggle animation for anchor point then change the position a little bit then go to one frame ahead then change the position again to the opposite direction then again go one frame ahead again change the position so just do it for couple of frames so now if i just play it back you will see a small portion of our video have been shaking right so to apply the whole shake effect on our entire video we need to copy those keyframes on our video timeline so go to here effects control panel and just make this panel little bit bigger so that we can see it then select this keyframe then select copy then go here deselect the keyframe then press paste again you can copy it again then you can paste it again the keyboard shortcut is when you have selected the keyframes press ctrl or command c then deselect the keyframes then press ctrl or command v it will paste the keyframes so if i just play it back the shake effect is happening if you want to apply some blurriness when the shake is happening then you need to increase the shutter angle from this section increase it to 180 degree and now if i just play it back there is a subtle blurriness along with this shake effect it will look cool so this is the way that you can follow to achieve shake effect from scratch now i'm going to show you how we can do it just by one click using shake preset so just go to in the description box and download the preset once you have downloaded the preset then go to window then click effects then from here select this portion click here then select import preset then navigate where you have downloaded i have downloaded it on download folder select the preset then click open now you have successfully imported the preset in premiere pro so how you can apply it go to fx panel then go to here which is preset section then find this folder which is shake preset this one you will get three kind of shake effect here so if you want to have aggressive shaking effect then you can apply the first one which is aggressive shape then if you want to have normal or medium kind of shake effect then you can apply this normal shake and lastly if you want to have a pulse kind of shake effect then you can apply this pulse shake effect so first let's see how this aggressive shake effect looks so select a portion first where you want to apply the clip maybe you don't want to apply this shake effect on entire video right so first you need to trim a portion that you want to apply this effect I want to apply this effect from here i'm just selecting razor tool then make a trim here and here so the thing is i want to apply this shake effect on this portion only i don't want to apply this on this portion or on this portion now to apply this effect i need to select the aggressive shake effect then click and drag this effect on top of this section then release it and now if i just play it back this section doesn't contain any shake effect and this section has some shake effect if you have found the shake effect has a lot of blurriness then you can just decrease the blurriness from going to this effect control panel and then decrease the shutter angle if i just make it zero then there will not any 
blurriness right so if you have want to have any blurriness just increase this value a little bit it will introduce blurriness on your video 180 is a good value so let's see how normal shake effect looks just delete this section then go to it effects panel and then click and drag this normal shake effect on top of your video this is the normal shake effect it is not ag as aggressive as the previous one again let's see how the pulse one looks click and drag this one now if i just play it back this is the pulse effect so if you want to sync it with any music it will look good so that's all for today that is the way that you can follow to achieve shake effect in adobe premiere pro let me know in the comment section below if you have liked this video or not if you have liked this video give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye